Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I have a velvet Photoshop pattern tutorial for you. Now this pattern you can do in any color that you want. I'm going to show it to you in a purple color, but uh, this looks great with reds, yellow, uh, just any jewel tone color will look really nice with this. And you can also do pastels in other colors, but I definitely think that the jewel tones come out looking the best. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. It's going to be a quick one. This is a really simple texture to make. So we're going to go ahead and start with a new file. We're going to come up here to file new. And I'm just going to set this up at a 1000 by 1000 72 resolution. Of course, if you are doing print, you will bring that up to 300 minimum. And I'm working in RGB 8 bit. You'll need to You'll need to be set up this way if you're going to use filters, which we are going to be using. So from here, you can just go ahead and click create. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the background because we're going to be using this as our base layer. I'm going to show you the colors that we're going to be using. For the foreground color, we're going to be using 66509B. Go ahead and click OK. And for the background color, we're using 26164B. So as far as the colors go, what I tend to do is kind of pick something from up here in this lighter area and then I'll pick something from the darker area down here. So just so you know, your foreground and background colors have to be the same, one lighter, one darker. So they have to be in the same family. Okay, once you have your foreground background colors selected and you have unlocked your layer here, we're going to come up here to Filter, Render, Clouds. And we'll have something that looks like this. And we're going to come back up here, filter again, noise, add noise. We are going to add 10% noise. Our distribution is uniform and make sure that monochromatic is checked off. We'll go ahead and click OK. Now this is going to give us that velvet fibers um, that you see with velvet. So we're going to come back up here to filter, sharpen, and we're going to sharpen that to bring that out even more. And now I'll come over here to this layer, right click and duplicate that layer. You can name it whatever you want. I'm not going to name it for this demonstration, but um, so you should have that second layer or you can click on this and press command J or control J and that's going to duplicate it as well either way. So with this layer selected, I'm going to go ahead and change the blend mode here to overlay. And you can see that that's changed the color a little bit. So just keep that in mind that your coloring isn't going to be specifically these colors. Um, you can see how this lightens. With this, I'm going to press command and the letter T on my keyboard. That's going to bring up my transform tool. You can also go to edit transform here. Uh, and then once that's up, you can come here and these are locked right now. So just make sure that this little lock icon is selected and I'm just going to type in 150 that is going to scale this 150% on the width and the height because I have this little link. I'm going to press enter on my keyboard to set that. Okay, with this layer selected, I'm going to press command and the letter E. That's going to merge that with the bottom layer. And now you can see that this is really big. So I'm going to come here to the crop and then just press enter twice to crop that back down to that smaller size. So this is the base of our velvet. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit more texture. So we're going to come here to filter, filter gallery, and we're going to be working with a texture. So we're going to come here to the textures folder, choose this one. It's called grain. And then we're going to bring the intensity down to about five. and our contrast is going to come down to about uh, 10 and then we'll change our grain type to horizontal. This can be horizontal or vertical. It looks fine either way. So that's vertical. This is horizontal. I tend to like this one more. So you can see the contrast right here. If you bring this up, you're going to get a much stronger velvety effect. Um, or you can bring it down to, you know, zero and you'll get this nice, soft, subtle velvet effect. But I'm going to go ahead and leave mine at about 10. So it's just somewhere in between and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. 
I do have some more fabric textures. If you're interested in making fabric textures from scratch inside of Photoshop, I'll go ahead and leave a link to that playlist down in the description. And if you have any suggestions or if there's anything that you'd like to see on this channel, please make sure to leave me a comment down in the description. I read all of those and I'm interested to see what you want to see on this channel. So definitely leave that comment. And that is pretty much it for the velvet texture. Don't forget to visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.